Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I want to show you what's going on right here. Just to pass on to a new beekeeper or anyone that, that doesn't know. Uh, from a distance, this looked like a swarm coming into a to an empty box or to a box that was had a very low population. But getting a little bit closer look at it, there's no doubt knowing what it is. And looking on the ground as well. Now, I try to use experiences like this to show people what to look for. And what happened here is a robin situation. And it, it's that time of year and the wheat colonies are vulnerable. And, and just like on this right here, uh, we have one of these uh, we call them barnyard bee entrance reducers that were the, where we use the hardware cloth. But you can see it's got way too much opening on it. It's just something that got overlooked. We got rerun a lot of hives. So, yeah, it happens. Even in at barnyard bees, you know, it happens to us as well. So, certain things that you can do in a situation like this to stop what's going on. Now, it really depends on how advanced this uh, Robin situ situation got. Uh, if they got to the point where they've already come in and killed the queen, they may have started on this yesterday. I didn't notice yesterday, but I've been uh, working, so I'm not sure. Uh, it's possible this could have started yesterday and they just continued this morning so things that you can do in a situation like this depend on how bad it is uh, when i make these low entrance reducers i always like to put a teeny tiny hole right on the, the side and what i'll do i'll close every door up to make sure they can't get in and leave one little door open right here. Now you can see, look here, there's one of the bees that they, they've killed and fought. For this hive here, it may be too late. I don't know. Uh, one thing that's happened, we opened feed. Now that did not cause the problem because I know how this, these situations work because I see them every single day and I know how these bees react because I spent a lot of time in the bee yard and situations that occur some people just don't understand but i do because i'm here every single day and i spend a lot of hours out here and if you open feed keep at least 300 feet away about a football field away but don't let it run out uh, when they start showing less interest in feeding then you can slack off but until then uh, once you start feeding them that's kind of the the trick to open feeding and I, and I didn't mention that in the previous video, but I had a few people come back and said, hey, I, I was open feeding, but as soon as I quit, they started robbing. Well, yeah, that will happen. Don't stop. Keep, keep your feeders full. Uh, in this yard, this is the only robin that I know of to this degree where they've actually drug out comb where they've stripped off the honey. And now there's different ways you can handle this. One is close it off completely. And another thing you can do is move it. Just completely move the hive somewhere else. It may be too late for this one. If they've already come in and wrecked the hive and killed the queen, it's, it's too late for it. Uh, so let me put it on pause and we'll move it and see what happens. Okay, I'm back. What I did... The box I moved is that box right there, just to the right of the the last yellow, not the last yellow, here I'll show you, is right here. I moved it to right here. Now, I got those bees confused right now. One thing they're looking for is where their hive go, the robin. And here's what I did. See this box right here? There's absolutely nothing in that box. This is a distractor box. You open it up, there's nothing in there. No frames, nothing. This is an empty box. They don't know that. Now they're confused. 
the robbers have no idea where their their free mail went and they're hoarding in there they're gonna find out there's nothing in there now situation like that you may or you will lose some of your forager bees but it's either move it or completely lose the hive and these bees right here don't know the difference what I just did they have no idea no clue they think their honey situation is still in there and they'll keep going here for a long time meanwhile the other hive is safe and secure and I'll show you I'll put it on hold here and show you here something in a second okay I give it about 15 minutes I just put the, the phone on pause and give it about 15 minutes to see what they're doing the traffic has slowed down and they're still going in there to an empty box wondering where'd our honey go and up here's the box that I moved it's starting to look more like normal amount of traffic Got the little bitty opening there to the side. And looks like there's a lot of bees trying to get out because they can't figure out how to get out of that little hole. And yeah, those would be the robbers. So what I'm gonna do, open it up just a little bit for just a couple minutes. Let them out. And then I'll close it back off. But that's a little trick you can do. Put that box, that distractor box, in its place, and it, it'll it'll throw their it'll throw them off a little bit. You can see right there where they tore the wax cappings off. And but like I said, if you if you are gonna feed your bees open feed, once you start, keep going. Don't stop with it because it, it can, because once they run out, then they're gonna start looking for other sources because they're so used to eating in such a hurry, in such a fast manner that it that they're in that mode. So that's where robbing situations occur, is, is situations like that. So that's about it. Uh, don't forget, uh, we'll have packages, we're taking, deposits if you call our store on packages and nukes if you want to pay in full uh, barnyardbees.com you can go and the quicker you get on the list the quicker you will get your bees next year so remember that the the because we set these up in order as people order them so the quicker you can order these bees the quicker you'll get them in the spring that's with nukes packages and anything like that so don't forget, we'll have queens all the way up through October. Check out our, our barnyardbees.com. We have everything and anything pertaining to beekeeping that, that you can imagine. It's we, ha we sell everything. We ship everywhere except Alaska and Hawaii. And don't forget, click on the little bell. You'll be notified of our new videos. Like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Barnard Bees.